What if you could turn those piles of dry, crunchy leaves into dark, fertile compost in just a few weeks, without expensive fertilizers or months of waiting? And what if all it took was a few kitchen ingredients and a splash of warm water to awaken billions of natural decomposers hiding in your soil? This isn't some gardening myth or chemical trick. It's a science-backed method that breathes life back into your garden. Fast. Welcome to Timeless Crops Haven, where we uncover nature's simplest secrets to grow healthier plants, richer soil, and thriving crops year-round. Every fall, gardeners face the same mountain of trouble. Heaps of fallen leaves that take forever to break down. Left untouched, they can take six months or more to decompose, often turning slimy or moldy in the process. Most people bag them up and toss them away, never realizing they're throwing out pure garden gold. Those dry leaves are loaded with carbon one of the key building blocks of compost. What they lack is nitrogen and easy energy for microbes to feed on. Composting is essentially a race between microorganisms, and without the right conditions, that race moves at a crawl. But here's the good news. You can give nature's tiny workers a serious head start using a mix of yeast, sugar and molasses. When you combine sugar, molasses and yeast in warm water, something magical happens. A microbial explosion. The sugar and molasses provide instant food for bacteria and fungi, while the yeast introduces billions of beneficial organisms ready to get to work. Together they multiply rapidly producing enzymes that break down cellulose and lignin, the tough fibres that make leaves stiff and slow to rot. This jump-starts decomposition at a speed nature rarely achieves on its own. Instead of waiting half a year for compost, you'll start seeing results in as little as two to three weeks. And it's all completely natural. No synthetic chemicals, no artificial boosters, just good old biology doing its job. Let's get practical. To make one gallon, or about four litres, of this compost accelerator, you'll need one tablespoon of dry yeast, which is about 10 grams, half a cup of sugar, roughly 100 grams, two teaspoons of molasses, which comes to around 30 millilitres, and finally, 4 litres of lukewarm water, between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius. Temperature matters here. Too hot and you'll kill the yeast. Too cold and it won't activate properly. Think of it like preparing dough. You want it comfortably warm, not boiling. Once you've got everything ready, dissolve the sugar and molasses in the warm water until the mix looks smooth and slightly thickened. Then sprinkle in the yeast and give it a gentle stir. Let it rest for 30 to 60 minutes in a shaded warm spot. You'll start seeing foam form on top. That's your signal. The microbes are alive, active and multiplying like crazy. Now comes the fun part, turning your leaf piles into living compost. Start by raking your dry leaves into a loose pile or spreading them evenly over the area you want to compost. Then pour your activated mixture directly over the leaves using a watering can or a garden sprayer. You don't want to soak them completely, just dampen them well. Too much water cuts off oxygen, which slows down decomposition. If your leaves are especially dry or thick, 
Give the pile a light stir with a rake or shovel to help the mixture penetrate deeper. Finally, sprinkle a thin layer of soil over the pile. That thin cover traps moisture, adds native microbes from the soil, and creates the perfect mini composting ecosystem. Within a day or two, you'll feel warmth radiating from the pile. That's microbial activity at work. Tiny living engines breaking down organic matter into rich humus. During the first few days, you might notice a faint earthy scent and even a bit of steam if the weather is cool. That's a good sign. It means the pile is heating up as microbes digest the leaves. By the end of the first week, you'll start to see the leaves darken, soften, and lose their stiff structure. By the second week, the texture begins to resemble crumbly compost. And by the third, you'll have rich, dark humus that smells like fresh forest soil. This living compost isn't just decomposed material. It's a nutrient powerhouse. It's packed with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium in forms your plants can actually absorb. Even better, it enhances your soil's structure, helping it hold moisture longer while improving aeration. That means stronger roots, healthier growth, and more resilient plants overall. To keep your compost pile thriving, you'll want to make sure it stays moist, but never soggy. The ideal moisture level, well, it feels like a wrung-out sponge, damp, but not dripping. If it starts to dry out, just lightly sprinkle more of your yeast mixture, or, you know, plain water. Every three to four days, give the pile a good turn with a shovel or fork. Aeration is essential. Without enough oxygen, decomposition slows dramatically and can start to smell unpleasant. If you live in a cooler climate, insulate the pile with a thin layer of straw or perhaps extra leaves to help retain warmth. In hot, sunny areas, keep it shaded to prevent it from drying out too quickly. Maintaining the right balance of heat, moisture and air is really the secret to fast, clean decomposition. If your mixture doesn't foam during activation, your yeast may be inactive. Always use fresh yeast and check that your water temperature is within the right range. If your compost pile smells sour or rotten, it's likely too wet and lacking oxygen. Just give it a good turn to reintroduce air and let it breathe. And if the process seems a bit slow, you might want to mix in a handful of mature compost or garden soil. This introduces more diverse microbes to speed things up again. The best part? Once you've done this a few times, you'll learn exactly how much moisture, heat and air your pile needs. Composting becomes second nature, fast, simple and incredibly rewarding. The difference between untreated and treated leaves is striking. Untreated piles stay dry and stiff for months, while treated ones break down within weeks, turning soft, dark, and crumbly. When you scoop up the finished compost, it should fall apart easily in your hand and smell like clean earth, the unmistakable sign of living soil. Use it to enrich your garden beds, top up potted plants, or as a natural mulch that feeds your soil as it breaks down. Gardeners who use this method often notice, you know, vegetables growing faster, flowers blooming brighter, and soil staying moist 
for a longer time. That's the beauty of working with nature instead of against it. By turning fallen leaves into compost, you're not just cleaning up your yard, you're closing the loop of life in your garden. This simple recipe costs almost nothing, saves you hours of work, and transforms waste into nourishment. It's sustainable, efficient, and proven to work every single time. So, next time you're staring at a blanket of dry leaves, don't grab the trash bags. Grab a bucket, mix up this living elixir, and pour it over those leaves. In just a few weeks, you'll hold living compost in your hands, and your garden will thank you for it. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe, share it with fellow gardeners, and join us at Timeless Crops Haven for more field-tested, science-backed ways to keep your soil thriving naturally. Your garden's next big transformation starts with one simple pour.